What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield Series 11. And ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Rank 1 Kyogre team that also features Life Orb Cinderace and Choice Band Urshifu. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel. But like I said, this team was used to get rank number one in the rank double ladder, and a lot of people have been using it in this past week, so I was just like, yo, let me bring this code to the Jeans Online Gaming Community Showcase team and showcase it in a few battles. So that is exactly what we're doing today. We'll get started off in this top left corner with Regilecki. Can I have a rank one team without Regilecki? This Pokemon is just so good in every single situation. It's got transistor ability, Magnet as its item and then it's Thunderbolt, E-Web, Thunder, and Protect for its fairly normal moveset. Right next to him is Cinderace, and I absolutely love Cinderace. Did not get to see it like at all in Series 10, but now that Dynamax is back in the format, Cinderace is back in action. It's got Liberio as its ability, so every time it uses a move, it changes its typing so it sends Stab, and we got Life Orb as its item so it hits even harder. Pyro Ball, High Jump Kick, Sucker Punch for first turn pri priority, and Bounce to either Bounce Out or turn into Max Airstream when we Dynamax's Pokemon. Middle left is going to be the Choice Band Urshifu, and I used this Pokemon a couple times in the past, and this thing hits like an absolute truck. Cannot wait to use him again and just dump on Pokemon in one shot. We got the Unseen Fist so we can hit through Protects, like I said, the Choice Band as its item, and then Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and Poison Jab for our coverage move. Right next to him is our Restricted Mine, and that is Kyogre. Kyogre is still an absolute beast in this series. Dominates in 1v1s, any single situation you want to name it, he's going to be there. He's going to be able to dominate and win you guys the battle. We got Drizzle to set the weather. Mystic Water, so he hits harder with water moves. Then we got Water Spout, Scald, Protect, and Ice Beam for our coverage move. Bottom left is going to be Mail and Didi, and Mail and Didi is going to be a great part of this team considering it has Surge Control, and that is going to be big considering we take Weather Control with Kyogre, and now Surge Control with this Ndidi. We also have the Focus Sash adds item, then Expanding Force, Dazzling Gleam, and we can Imprison Trick Room with this Pokemon to counter Trick Room Pokemon. Bottom right corner is going to be our final mod, and that is going to be Whimscott, a great support mod that works perfectly on this team. We got Tailwind to set up for speed, Moon Blast for our stab hitting move, then we got Helping Hand to help ally Pokemon do more damage, and Taunt to taunt opposing support Pokemons. Obviously, we got the Prankster ability and Mental Herb as our item, so we cannot be taunted ourselves. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder. Look to get some wins with this rank 1 Kyogre, Cinderace, and Choice Band Urshifu team. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a good one for battle number one, going up against a Swift Swim Kingdra team that features Kyogre, Regilecki, Urshifu, Incineroar, and Robum. So, decently near matchup here. We we both have the Urshifu, we both have the Kyogre, and we both have the Regilecki. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I think that Regilecki is an absolute must lead. I feel like that is a must lead. I might lead Cinderace as well, because I can change typings on him whenever I want and kind of get more from there. So I think I might go into Cinderace as a lead and then bring Kai over in the back because if he's going to play rain, I definitely got to play it. We got to fight fire with fire here, you know what I'm saying? And then final Pokemon is going to be, is going to be, I think Urshifu. I think Choice Band Urshifu just got to rock out here. He just has so many good moves. He can hit like a truck and I think we need him on our team. So we're going to be rocking out with him and we are going to lock in our team. But guys, let me know for a question of the day down in the comment section down below. Actually, I want you guys to answer this one because I've been thinking about this a lot. I definitely want to do this on my channel, but I definitely want you guys feedback as well. And that is, do you guys want to see catch guides and TM guides for Pokemon Brilliant, Diamond, and Shining Pearl? I definitely want to do guides on where to catch every single Pokemon and where to get every single TM. So let me know if you guys are interested in that in the comment section down below. But yo, I'm so hyped for that game. I've been looking forward to uh, to it all week and by the time this recording goes out it comes out in like three or four days which is absolutely amazing cannot wait for it we're going to be doing live streams on that game so follow my twitch page the links down in the description below and name is right below my face cam we're going to be crushing live streams doing like five to eight hour live streams and we're going to be doing a playthrough on channel guides on this channel so make sure you subbed over here cannot wait for it cannot wait for it but Regilecki and Rillaboom is going to get the lead here and I think I just Dynamax uh, Cinderace and maybe just roll out with an airstream and protect Regilecki this time What's the plans here, Jeans? What's the plans? Because I can get some nice little speed here. Get some nice little speed here, Roland. Hmm. Yeah, I think protecting my Jalecki and then just Dynamaxing you. I could go into a Fireball. Do I stick with the Fireball? Because I don't want to change to, uh... I really do not want to change to, uh... Hmm. He might protect him. What's he going to do here? Fake out? But I really don't want to change to... Flying type if he has right on the field. So I'm just going to stick to uh, fire here and see what he does. So he's not changing. 
He's not changing. Hopefully he's faking out like Regilecki or something along those lines. Because then a G-Max Fireball is just going to be able to absolutely dump on that Pokemon. And if I can get rid of him, that's going to be huge. That's going to be huge considering we have Kyogre in the back. And uh, Grassy Guy will be able to do work onto my first group and my Regilecki. It just hits too hard. It just hits too hard and it, it has first turn priority. So we don't like it one bit. So what's he going to do here? He's going to protect Regilecki. Oh no, that's my, <laughs> that's my Regilecki protecting. Let's see what he does here. You can go for an extreme speed. Oh, who's going? Who's rocking extreme speed? Oh, yo, he doubled down into Reggie. Yo, that's a huge turn. That's a huge turn for us. We love it. We love it, yo. Fireball's coming out here. Later, Rillaboom. Yo, Cinderace is an absolute monster. An absolute monster. I knew I had to showcase this team for you guys. You guys probably been seeing it over the rank ladder and all that good stuff. But it's so powerful. If you guys want a team to push Master Belt here or push high ranks, try to learn this team. It's really not that hard to learn. You got the Cinderace. Cinderace can kind of do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. Then having Kai Ogre in the back end, just a water spout, is just really, really good. Then you have Speed Control with uh, Whimscott and Regilecki, which is, which is fairly simple to use. He's going to bring out him, and I'm just going to E-Web at this point. And I think I'm just going to start uh, air streaming. Just try, to, just try to get our speed up. But I double down into you. Because we are fire right now, and he might swap. But I'm going to go into here. What do we think he's going to go for an E-Web? He's going to go extreme speed. Okay, so he's, he's, he's extreme speed in my Regilecki. Which is fine by me. And the E-Web's going to fly through here. So we can outspeed the Kingdra all day. King's just probably going to go down here. I thought it was going to Dynamax. Pretty, this battle's going pretty simple. Going pretty simple in the Master tier here. Airstream's going to come through here. We are changing typing. So you can go for a water move all you want. That's what's so good about him. You never know what typing he actually is going to be. Because we're constantly changing, but he's dead anyway. Yo, Kingdra, get out my game. Get out my series. I'm getting real sick of you in here. I had to throw you out of here. Imagine like he's minus one, which, yo, I'm digging. I'm digging all that. But what really set us up for victory right here was that protect with Reg Lecky and him doubling down. Like, after that, I was like, wow, yo, this battle's gonna be a breeze. It's gonna be a, be a breeze. We have one more turn left in Dynamax, which we should be able to pick up an easy KO on whoever we hit. Whoever we hit, which I might just hit up on the Reg Lecky, take him out, and who's his final Pokemon? It's gonna be Kyrie. I have a Kyrie in the back end, so I can win this battle 10 times out of 10. Plus, I have Reg Lecky right here, so I'm just, I'm just gonna E Web. I'm just gonna E Web. Actually, I can just do this. It's gonna hit 100% of the time. We're gonna take you out and then ooh. Ooh, I could go for uh what do I wanna go for? I go for the darkness. Dark is probably your best bet. Change to a dark type here. Hit up on him. The fireball would have been the better option, but it is raining, so it's fine. It's totally fine. He might dynamax the Kyogre, and I, I actually want him to dynamax Kyogre. I wanna see how much damage this thunder can do onto a Kyogre. It's right here, like he's so good. Magnet and transistor. Stab, it's in the rain, so we know it's not missing. We're loving it, yo. It's going to be a sweep to get this video started. It's going to be a sweep. It's looking pretty good. We have speed. He is going to Dynamax Kyogre. And it might not be a sweep if he goes after, uh, what's it called? If he goes after Regilecki with this Kyogre shot. That would be our only problem. Because Regilecki, there's no way he's eating up a Geyser. Cinderace, on the other hand, I think he can eat up a Geyser as a Dark type. Hands down. Hands down, I think he can do it. Let's see how this one plays out here. I'm just going to fly. Built. Look at that chunk of damage. And the para. And the para. Give it to me. Dark's going to fly through here. Yo. Everybody. Do this one with me. Do this one with me. Hey, yo, Regilecki. Get out my game, yo. We don't want him here. Get him out my face. He's gone. Dump it on me, yo. I'm telling you, yo. Cinderace is an absolute unit in this series. He's a unit. Think just a tank. He eats up. He hits like a truck. Loving this guy. Loving this guy. Let's see what he goes into here. He gets powered, yo. Pokey gods are like jeans. You can have this sweep. It's all you. You outplayed your opponent so hard. Let's get it. That's going to be a clean sweep. Regilecki is just going to go into another Thunder, and Thunder is not missing. We in the rain. Is this guy going to save his poor Kyogre? That's the real question. Is he going to run to keep his poor Kyogre from dying? It was over regardless, dude. <laughs> yo, dude I knew Regilecki and Cinderace would just be an absolute killer lead it's just too strong you have the speed control with the regilecki and then you can just dynamax with center hits like hit like a truck and most pokemon he can take out in one shot especially with all these coverage moves it's just well technically they're stab moves but he just changes typing all the time but i'm just gonna go into a high jump kick hopefully i can i can land it but there's gonna be no need because regilecki's just gonna thunder that's gonna ko him but let's see if he keeps his kyogre alive he does he does indeed ggs want to know to get this video started
What a way to start off today's video with a clean sweep using Regilecki and Cinderace. That first battle was just complete and utter domination. After I protected it and he went into Grassy Glide and Extreme Speed, both into my Protect, I was like, yo, it's over. Cinderace is just going to be rolling this battle. But we're hopping into our second battle here, looking to go back to back, going up against a Zacian team that features Dragonite. And I absolutely love Dragonite. Definitely got to bring him in a video for you guys. Uh, he also has the Amoongus, Zacian, like I said, and then Tapu Fini, Tornalis, and Raichu. Okay, so... He does have a Tailwind Pokemon, which makes me kind of want to go in the Wimscot, but at the same time, Regilecki can just do this work by himself. I'm thinking just going into Regilecki again, and then maybe leading the Kyogre. Kyogre could be pretty good. He probably does have Fake Out options with that Raichu, which I could definitely see him maybe leading. But I might just go in DD here as a lead, take Surge Control as well, and then bring in Cinderace and Kyogre. I think Cinderace and Kyogre is our best bet here. Yeah, I'm really liking that. I am really liking that. Let's rock into this second battle. Let's go back to back here. Uh, I wonder who he's going to lead. I think Raichu is probably going to be a lead. And that is another reason why I led the NDD. I just think NDD is very good with the surge control. And it really is beneficial. And then it still hits like a truck because it's male NDD. So male NDD is more on the attacking side. It can hit a lot harder than the uh, female NDD does. Let's see who he leads. It's got to be Raichu, right? Raichu and Zassi. So Raichu and Zassi come out here. Uh, Regilecki is going to be the fastest on the field. Fake Out cannot be a thing. Ooh, he might be a bolt there. I mean, he's got to be Lightning Rod, right? And the thing is, I think Lightning Rod... I think Lightning Rod does not soak up... What's it called? I don't think Lightning Rod will soak up the... Uh, the E-Web. It will soak it up on his end, but I think it still hits through onto the, uh, the Zassi's. I believe that's the thing. I believe that's the thing. So let's go into this here and see how this one plays out. He can't go into fake. He's probably just going to be nuzzling around. He's going to protect you. And let's see what he does from here. He's just going to be starting nuzzling on me. You have going to fly through here. It gets protected. So it is going to hit him. Does it hit Raichu? No. Like I said, it has lightning rod. So it would have ended up hitting this Asian. He's going to get a nice little boost here. And he's just going to start nuzzling on me. So he's going to nuzzle up on my Ndidi. Ndidi still hit him with this big old expanded force. Expanded force comes out. It gets blocked on Zacian, and then it hits up on the Raichu. So how much damage are we going to do? A good chunk. That's a good chunk. So we are powered here. Uh, he might be going to do more. I'm going to protect you, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect you, and hmm. I do have the Cinderace. I do have that Cinderace. So, dude, if I can get rid of if I can get rid of this Raichu here, it will be a big turn for us. This could be a big turn for us. If we can get rid of Raichu and have Regilecki on the field, that could be so big, because then I can just bring out my Cinderace, Dynamax, put Regilecki on the field. And then end up with all on the Zacian, so I do like that turn. I don't mind it one bit. We have Protect Mole out here, and Dragonite is going to fly out here. Dragonite is coming out and about. Protect's going to come out from Regilecki, and what is he doing with that uh, with that Raichu? He's going to go into a Thunderbolt, which we should be able to eat up. Yep, we do eat up, even though he's plus one, and Expanded Force comes out here. We say bye-bye to Raichu, so I like that turn. I do like that turn all day. And we get some nice damage onto that dragon. Nice, lovely damage onto that dragon itself. Loving it so much. Okay. So we're sitting here. I definitely outspeed him. I could probably just go into like a Thunderbolt and maybe KO him. That's an option. Does he bring back out Zacian? He does not. Okay, so do we think E-Web supply? Probably just going to go into Italian. So I think we just E-Web here. Start slowing down everybody. And we just drop it clean. That's definitely my play. That is definitely my play. And we looking fine. We looking fine here. Who's going to Dynamax? He's going to have to Dynamax one of these guys. But I am wondering who, who's going to be here. He's definitely... Ooh, he doesn't have Dynamax. He just goes straight up Tailwind. Does he have a double hitting move? Outreach. He's going to go for Outreach. Hit my NDD, please. Thank you. <laughs> it hits my NDD. My What's Called is still chilling here. My Red Relic is still chilling here. And this battle is looking pretty, pretty simple for us here. Pretty simple. Look at that, yo. Look at that, yo. Red Relic, you chill on him. Red Relic, you chill on him. It's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's. It is over with here. It is over with. Because Regilecki outspeeds them all. We go into another E-Web. That's a double kill. And then it turns to a 3v1 with Regilecki, Kyogre, and Cinderace. Come on. Man. Come on. This is just too easy. This is just too easy with this team, man. This team is thriving. This team is thriving. Let's go into another E-Web here. And then... Good water spout. It's not going to do anything because Regilecki is just going to outspeed him and kill him. Right? I think Regilecki outspeeds. They're, my, they're tailwind minus one. So that's basically like plus one. And Regilecki is like 200 speed. 
Maybe the uh, Tornadoes can outspeed him, but I don't think the Dragon is going to be able to outspeed him. Nope, nobody does. Get him out of here, both of you guys. Out my game. Get him out of my face. Now we're sitting here in a 3v1 up against Asian, and we still have our Dynamax. I'm going to try not to use it. We're going to try to have some fun with this one and not use it at all. But we'll see how this one plays out. Water Spout fails. Zassian has no double hitting moves, so he's going to take a hit on whichever Pokemon he chooses. But he might just quit and keep his Zassian because, yo, we are crushing this. We are crushing these battles right here. Johnny Zassian does come in here. Zassian's Zassian, whatever you guys want to call him. Yo, I'm sick of this guy. I'm sick of this guy. We got to tell him to get out of here. We got to tell him to go home. He's going to an E-Web slum down here. And I'm, I might just read. I might just make a hard read here, but he's going to a Scald. Scalds are a better option because Zassian does outspeed our Kyogre right now. And he cancels battle. Hey, yo, Zassy, get out my game. We are just thriving in the online ranked double battles today. 2-0, dominating our first two battles, making it look easy. But now we're hopping into our third and final battle, looking for that perfect record for you guys. He has a Yavelta team, and I haven't seen Yavelta teams across the Series 11 in a good bit. This is pretty cool to see. He also has the Galarian Articuno. He has the Urshifu, the Rillaboom for Terrain, and Rillaboom's just a beast. And then he has the Entei with Inner Focus and the Tapu Koko. I love these Coco. I gotta start using them again. I love me some top of Coco. So, how should I play this one? Generation Reg like he could absolutely love this one. He does have the surge. He does have the surge. A little scary. Um, bum, 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 bum. You know, let's not bring Reg like yo. We already showcased him. Let's go Whimscott. Let's set up a tail in here. He does have Trick Room with that, uh. He does have Trick Room with the, uh. With the Glaring Articuno. But I'm gonna go Cinderace here. I might Dynamax Cinderace. Then go Kyogre, and I think Urshifu is definitely a play. I think rolling out. I think I have a Kai Ogre, Urshifu, Cinerace, and Regilaki is just like too good. Because all of them hit like a truck. They all have great speed. They're just great all around. And then pairing them up with support mods such as like Wimsicott and then having Indy for surge control. This team is just like perfect. Like it doesn't get any more perfect than this. It's so powerful. It really is. It really is. But I honestly would have rather went into Regilaki here. But we used them in the past two battles. I was just like, let me let me get Wimsicott up in here. But if I was playing for like money, if my life was online, I'm going Regilaki all the time here. Let's look at this. You know, Regilecki would have been able to like, do some work up against Articuno. We would have been able to start rolling from there. But uh, do I do I even change to a flying type? I was thinking about it. I was thinking about changing into a flying type. But with that Tapu Koko on the field, that makes me like get a little iffy here. I think I'm just going to stay fire here. I think I'm just going to stay fire. Could go into a lovely little tailwind. Or I could taunt. I mean, we already have speed. I mean, I doubt he's going to go into a tailwind. I'm just going to change to the dark type and just... Don't pull this hard, you know? I don't think it's holding Sash. I do not think it's holding Sash. And then in that case, he'll have a special defense drop, and we can get rolling from there. We could get rolling from there, but let's see what he does. Let's see this dude's move. He's probably like thinking, like, yo, dude, I'm, I'm in trouble here. He's got a Cinderace juggling around a fireball on his foot. That's how you know you're in trouble. There's a Pokemon over there playing soccer with a fireball. Like, what are you supposed to do? You're just like, dude, he, his feet don't feel his fire. He's just chilling here dominating. He's going to dy Dynamax the Coco, which I'm cool with. Which I'm cool with, because we are changing type. There's Coco. Coco beans with the Dynamax. Yo, I, love that. I think he's so sick. I think he's so sick. I think he's so sick. Right, let's see. Let's see what he goes into. Let's see what the plan is here. Here's my Dynamax. Articuno, we're gonna tell you to go home here. What's this thing Sash? I, don't, I just don't see it being Sash. And I don't see him setting up a, a trick him, right? I don't think Trick Room's an option. I think he's just going, in, go, going to go into like a Thunder Room. Into my Cinderace. And that is exactly why I didn't change it. Or flying. That went out and about. Give me the speed, baby. Speed is on our side. The tail went for the squad. We're going to go to a Darkness. Change our typing up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Please don't tell me you're going into a Fairy Room. That'd be, that'd be crazy. Articuno is Sash. Yo, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This thing is Focus Ash. I didn't think it would be. Is it going for a Trick Room now? That could be a problem. Which it could. I could definitely see going into a Trick Room. It's competitive as well. Ooh. Ouch. What are you going for here? What are you going for, Articuno? Anything but a Trick Room. Anything but a Trick Room. There's the Lightning here. They are able to soak up pretty well. And this thing is going for a Tailwind. So he's going to get Tailwind for Tailwind. Uh, what's it called? It's going to take Speed Advantage. That's tough. That is tough. That is tough. We definitely want to go into a moon blast here. Take you out. And I think what's called just goes down here. 
Sinners just goes down here. We don't have a protect. We don't have an ally switch. We don't have anything that can move. go from there. So we're just gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to do that. Next airstream's gonna fly through it. And now is that going up against Wimscott? It's going to after Sinners. And you, you, you are dumb. You are dumb. Actually, he still might be able. To, let's see. Let's see. Is Wimscott gonna go? No, he's gonna go. And yo, you are dumb. Cause we're gonna be able to eat up both of these. Actually, yeah, probably not that one, but, no, yo, I'll take that all day. Oh, he gets a crit. He gets a crit. I thought we were going to be able to eat that one out, but, yo, he should have just went into the lightning. He wants the speed boost for the squad. Fireball coming out here. This can do some big old damage. This can do some big old damage out here. Big old damage. Ain't even a word for it. Look at this. Built. Oh! Oh! Big old damage. Life Orb is going to drop me down to 10. And in this case, I think I just bring out Urshfu and start sucker punching. Right? And just save Kyogre for that back end and wait for Tailwind to kind of just end out. I think that's fun. Urshu's gonna fly out here. Sucker Punch is an absolute must. Do we think Sucker Punch takes out Coco? Because I would totally rather give him to Coco. I mean, he could go for the air slash enemy. Hmm. We could go into the Fairman. So we're gonna do that. And then, I mean, if we can't get off an airstream, I'd rather go for an airstream and all, you know. Let's just see a suit's play. Target punch gonna fly through. Give me the KO. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just enough. I thought it was gonna stop on one. I really didn't think it was gonna stop on one. Big old circuit punch comes in for the KO. Hopefully the Articuno is going after my Cinderace. He is going after Cinderace, and that's huge. That is huge. We'll take that all day. We'll take that all day. I don't mind that. Too. I don't mind that. Too. We're sitting here, we can sucker punch into Articuno if we want to. But more importantly, I can bring out this Kai. I can bring out this Kai Ogre. And do I just protect? Ooh, I don't like that. I might have to protect. I might have to protect. We are choice into a Sunker Punch. I don't like. I don't like one bit. Yeah, how many turns left in it? The Surge is going to do us dirty here. The Surge is just going to do us dirty. Mmm. I think it's going to be GG's. And I think he is going to read my Sunker Punch coming out here. I have to stick with Sucker Punch, and I would rather not, but... What do you think Articuno is? I'm just going to protect you. I'm just going to protect you. Let's see what Articuno is going to do here. Probably going into an Air Slash. There's Glide coming out here. He's going to fake me out. Son of a biscuit. Going in, What's he going into with Articuno? He read my Protect, man. Yo, what a play by him. What a play by him. That's going to take out my Earth Street. That's going to be GG. That is going to be GG's there. That is going to be GG's. But man, I definitely should have went into like a an Ice Beam there. If I would have went into an Ice Beam there, we would have won this match. Chances are actually, I don't know. Do I go into an Ice Beam? What's my play? Yeah, we got we got to kill this Real Boom if anything. <laughs> we got to kill this Real Boom if we have a fighting chance here. Grass guy's going to fly out here. And yeah, we're not beating that up. That is GG, yo. What a battle by this guy in the third and final one. Takes us out there, and it was honestly not a bad one. It was actually decently close. His Dynamax just out Dynamax us, and we ended up losing in the end there. If you guys want to get Master Ball tier or push high ranks, I'm telling you guys, rent this team. Rent the code is right at the bottom of the screen. It is phenomenal all around. We dominated in the first two battles, got ourselves a clean sweep. Then in the second battle, just made it look easy by winning that one. Third and final battle, we did lose, but I honestly think we could have won if we would have led the Reg Lucky. Reg Lucky is just super powerful in that situation, especially up against uh, up against Galarian Articuno. Probably would have been our better option there. But hey, we take that L. We get ourselves a winning record for today's video. And that is all that matters. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.